Speaker, like other members in this debate this afternoon, I'd also like to acknowledge the pain, suffering and loss in Christchurch on both on behalf of myself uh, and the ACT Party. Uh, sir, we shouldn't, uh, shouldn't lose sight of the fact that this we have now had the third billion dollar plus earthquake in Christchurch in the last eight months. And tragically, sir, another life was lost as a consequence of the most recent earthquake. And sir, we do face serious times. We face very serious times. And how interesting to be reminded of that by the Honourable Christopher Finlayson this afternoon. He talked about the serious times we faced and he talked about the Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister addressing that. Well, I'm pleased they are, Mr Finlayson, because you certainly weren't. All you could do, Order. like your colleague, Mr Power, Order. enter into a Members don't prefer to you doing this or you doing that. S sorry, Mr Speaker. What I would say, Mr Speaker, is that this, this country is in serious difficulty. And what do we have? We have an attack today on the Labor Party. What this government should be doing, Mr Speaker, is actually addressing the serious issues. We can't afford, sir, to look over the, overlook the fact that we've got a deficit of $16.8 billion. $16.8 billion, sir. We're borrowing over $300 million a week. And I don't know how many times the ACT Party needs to remind the people of New Zealand, sir, but we are in very serious situation, sir. And what are we going to, what is it going to take? What is it going to take, Mr Finlayson? A fourth earthquake? A fifth earthquake? A sixth earthquake? I asked the Minister of Finance, sir, last week in question time, what about the government's rosy forecasts? The government is forecasting to get the deficit back under control by 2014, and it does it based on growth of 4 per cent and 3 per cent, sir, in 2013 and 14. Sir, based on forecasts by, by Treasury, which have been shown to be grossly over-optimistic over the last six years. Sir, we have in the House this afternoon Louise Upston. She's put out a press release in the last month pointing to the massive increase in early childhood education. And she goes on to point out that despite the massive investment, the increase from less than $500 million to $1.2 billion, we have seen an increase in the participation rate in early childhood education by 1 per cent, less than 1 per cent. And when we question, when we question, sir, the Minister of Education in the House this afternoon, what does she say, Mr Speaker? She says she's setting up a task force. She's setting up a task force. Two and a half years to set up a task force, sir. Sir, Rome is burning. Rome is burning while Nero feels my, sir, why Nero fiddles. Sir, Rome is burning. New Zealand is in a serious situation. Why John Key and the National Party are simply planking, Mr Speaker. The reality is we've actually got to address these serious issues. We've got to address these serious issues, Mr Speaker. We've got a deficit of $16.8 billion this year, looking to be just under $10 billion the following year, and not back into break-even, sir, until 2014. We have to look at how do we better target? How do we better target the $1.2 billion to be sent in early childhood education? Why did it take, for example, until this year's budget to, to reduce the massive subsidies on KiwiSaver? Yes, the KiwiSaver scheme, sir, is a good scheme, but, sir, it's taxing the low income, the people who can least afford to contribute, least afford to get those subsidies, sir. It's a tax on low income people to subsidise those who can actually afford to save. I could say the same thing about interest-free student loans. John Key called that a massive bribe prior to the 2005 election, sir. And what has the National Party done to do about it, sir? Basically, stuff all. It's cut back the entitlement for those who want to learn to fly, trainee pilots. It said those who go overseas and move out of the system have to start paying interest after not three years, but one year, sir. We need to look, sir, at how we better target government expenditure. How do we actually grow the economy? How do we actually grow the jobs the Labor Party keep referring to? We need to reduce taxes. We need to get government expenditure under control. And we need to provide incentives. We need to provide incentives to grow the economy for people to work, Mr Speaker, and for people to save. So we heard this afternoon from Marianne Street about the cost of living. And good on you for raising the cost of living. She says that people are concerned about the price of electricity. It's a pity she didn't also tell people this afternoon, Mr Speaker, that her government passed an emissions trading scheme that will subsidise foresters to plant trees to the extent of $350 million a year. 
not, not, not subsidise foreign investors, not subsidise the wealthy that Marianne streets, to subsidise people who will plant trees. And every New Zealander pays that, sir, a massive increase in electricity.